got to the United States, I was 16 years old, homeless in the streets of Las Vegas. And when the Air Force gave me an opportunity, I was trying to literally save my life. The ROA was able to take the time to look at my specific needs, my specific future in the military, and take care of me throughout my journey. The Reserve Organization of America, ROA, is the only national military organization which solely and exclusively represents the reserve components. We cannot go to war without the reserves. We've been called up more in the last 20 years than the history of the strategic reserve. At least since 9-11, they've turned into an operational reserve. The original history was to have a reserve force in case you had that conflict, but now we're using them for everything. The policies were not built for a reserve and guard used at this level that we're seeing right now. ROA. We have the ability to walk here into the Minuteman building and talk about those issues with Congress. And we're number one Constitution Avenue. We're right across from Congress. We're so close that we can be a primary advocate for all reserve component issues. ROA has taken the lead on these things and we're respected. We have the VA asking ROA to be part of the discussion on certain topics. Over 60,000 reservists were called up for COVID, the largest in-country call-up in history. About 43% of the total military is in the reserve or the guard. The Pentagon itself has told us the usage rate is not going to go down. And so as we look towards the future, ROA has a critical role in supporting that citizen warrior.